morning good morning everybody uh let's say it's about monday it's about 8 20 8 18 on monday morning monday it's about 8 20 8 18 on monday morning monday okay there we go okay i hope you guys having a wonderful monday morning here so so today's day two actually uh, day two of playing with a uh, little like bianca this morning so we just got this uh over the weekend i'm gonna big shout out to joe at espresso outlet so this is a loaner so this is a loaner so if you are thinking about getting a, a espresso machine make sure to check out the espresso outlet okay he's a great guy he's nice enough to loan us the machine here so uh, so he loaned us the quick mirror as well. So big shout out to Espresso Outlet. Uh, anyway, uh, so plan is after this week, so next five or days or so, we are, we are going to play with Lila Bianca, okay? Touch every day. And then let's find out. the. So my plan is after this week, I'm going to pick uh, one, this one, Bianca or quick mirror. I'm going to pick one and I'm just going to purchase it. Uh, I'm going to purchase uh, from uh espresso outlet okay hold on so how's my sound it sounds okay just make sure my sound is good okay make sure my sound is good okay so this is an adapter for my iphone sometimes it's not working properly try again uh how's the sound sounds all right okay good so let's get going. So this morning, I'm going to play with uh, flow control, okay? So I got some recipe from uh, Dane yesterday. So, so Dane is one of our viewers from uh, Australia. So I'm gonna be using his, kind of like his recipe, and uh, start with like low pressure. And then, you know, I told it for, hey, Dane, uh, if you are watching right now, uh, write down some recipe for me, okay? Yeah. I think I just forget uh, forgot about that one already. Oh, uh, anyway, so uh, so we are, we are going to pull the standard shot, and also we are going to. Hold on, let me fix my microphone here. And then uh, I'm going to do the standard shot versus the flow control shot. Okay, and then go from there. Okay, hold on. So which means here, let me show you guys the. If you are new to the little Bianca. So this is the powder, okay? So right now, so this is more like 10 o'clock here. So 10 o'clock means uh, pretty much the valve is almost closed because the thing is they're using the needle valve, I believe. They cannot close the 100%. So here, let me show you. If I'm gonna run the pump right now, you're not gonna see much coming out, okay? You're not gonna see much. But if you're gonna start releasing the paddle, and the water is gonna come out. I'm just gonna shut it down. So, think about the flow control on Lulet Bianca. So this is not, okay. So they control the flows, okay, not the pressure. The pressure is the uh, same, okay. They give you the constant pressure, but they control the flow of the uh, the pump, not the flow, the flow of the water. That's why you can actually uh, manipulate the pressure. So uh, again, uh, I'm gonna show you. Okay, we are going to pull the shot. Okay, so hold on. So here's a recipe we're gonna do. We are going to use a 22 gram baskets. We're gonna start with a seven o'clock. Okay, seven o'clock there, and then uh, let's see about three gram or so and they ramp up to nine gram okay so we so so we are okay we, we are going to start with the standard shot okay I'm, I'm just going to open it up all the way up and then we're going to pull the regular shot and then followed by the flow control shot okay from day so uh, so uh, if you guys are curious uh, we got the live chat going on here dane has the recipe sitting right that corner okay so uh so let's get going guys so i'm gonna do 20 22 gram so, so far I have, actually this is 18 gram right here. So I'm gonna add four more gram each, okay? And then we are going to pull the shot. Uh, okay, so today we are going to use, actually Costa Rica, okay? So this is pretty, it should be good. I think it's, I really enjoyed it last time. The tasting note on that is gingerbread, cinnamon, and cantaloupe. 
Okay. So I'm, I cannot wait to try that. All right, so. So this already pre-measured out 18 gram already. And then I'm gonna add four more gram here. Actually, you know what? I have uh, 20, uh, that's right, never mind. Yeah. So I have, uh, I think this is 18 gram basket, guys. So I'm gonna add 20 gram. There we go. So I, I'm using the 20 gram, so yeah. So we are going to be using the niche grinder over there. Uh, grinder setting, I'm set at number 11. Okay, I'm just gonna add another two gram here. So I'm using the 20 gram shot. Okay. So start with, we are going to do the standard shot first. I'm just gonna get on my porter filter. <clears throat> okay, here I go. So this is not exactly like Dane's recipe, but very, very close. So I'm using the 20 gram instead of 22 gram uh, that Dane recommend, but okay. For the consistency, I'm gonna be using my uh, force temper here. So it looks pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna lock it in. So this is the standard shot. Uh, we're gonna, uh, let's do one to like two or 2.5 ratio. Okay, we got eight, uh, 20 gram in. I'm trying to shoot for like 40 to like 45 gram out. Okay, I'm gonna be close to go around 45. So first shot is going to be a standard shot. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start the timer. So this is more like 10 bar machine, goodness. Hold on, the pump pressure at 11 right now. Maybe grinder setting can be really fine there. Hopefully you guys can see it. So this is a standard shot. I'm trying to shoot for around 45. Okay, goodness, all right. So it's about 50 second shot there, guys. which means my grinder setting is too, uh, too fine. And so I have to adjust it. Maybe. Uh, 
maybe like 13 or 14. Try that, okay? But let's try this shot anyway. Okay. Definitely we gotta adjust the grinder. Okay, so let's get going here. All right. So again, so this is my day two of using the flow control. So not only you have to worry about the grinder size and also uh, comes to pulling the shot, it's definitely need, need some, yeah, some learning curves there. So here we go, cheers guys, cheers. Okay, let's try this shot. So this is the Costa Rica. It should be nice and bright. Here we go. Man, I have to say, okay, even though it uh, <clears throat> seems like over extracted, man, it's quite pleasant. Okay, it's so quite pleasant. It's not bad. Actually, I really enjoy this shot here. So, so let's try this. So let's do another uh, 20 gram. Okay, but since we changed the grinder setting and then let's use the flow control. Okay, so let's use that recipe. So the recipe going to be, let's see here. Uh, but I'm gonna start with the seven to eight o'clock range there for the paddle. I'm gonna wait about uh, three gram or so. And then once I reach a uh, three milliliter, I'm gonna go after uh, all the way, okay? Or nine bar pressure, okay, I'm gonna adjust that. And I'm gonna wait about uh, up to 30 gram shot. And I'm gonna slowly ramp down to 45 gram, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna kind of like between 40 and 45 gram. See, is there any taste difference, okay? So let's get going. So we have the, we have another 20 gram ready to go here. Uh, if you are new to the channel, welcome, okay? Welcome to live streaming. Just make sure nice and dry. I mean, if you guys are watching this, I mean, most likely you guys are not uh, beginners anymore. Okay, I'm just gonna do nice and easy on WDT here. Because I mean, niche grinder does pretty good job. So, it's gonna do the distribution. Again, we're gonna use the force temper for the consistency. So we are ready here. I'm just gonna clean the. Okay, so. Let's try this. So we're gonna start with a seven, maybe, maybe a six or seven o'clock range. And then we're gonna wait till three grand. There we go, it looks beautiful.
Oh, and I'm gonna up, up, up to nine bar. All the nine bar pressure there. It's a 35 gram. I'm gonna slowly ramp it down, okay? To around 40. There we go. Around 45 gram. Okay, let's try this one. Okay. So this is like, again, uh, for the, the flow control, okay? The flow control shot. Not perfect, okay? It's definitely, uh, I got a lot of work to do here. Okay, smells pretty good. Cheers. Man, I have to say, guys, that, that's pretty good, okay? That's pretty good. They give you a completely different dimension, okay? I mean, I, I, mean I, I, I wish you guys are here right now, try this shot. I mean, don't get me wrong, this shot was good, okay? But this shot has I guess more cleaner taste, more cleaner, and also you can actually taste the flavor. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. I mean, that shot is, because, uh, so this is the uh, coffee beans, beans from Good Brothers Coffee, okay, the Brent. I know he been working on this coffee for a while, but I mean, Good Brothers Coffee is not a like coffee like Onyx or Ona Coffee, but I mean I have to say I mean he did pretty good job uh, doing the uh, roasting this coffee beans. But uh, two different shots here, standard shot is good. I think I need to dial it in a little more. Okay, I think that was way too. Uh, you know what? Maybe maybe I wonder. Maybe we should do one more time here. Okay, you know what? Let's do that maybe tomorrow. Okay, I I don't want to drink. Uh, too much espresso this morning but uh, so let's play with uh, one more time tomorrow okay I think our current grinder setting at number let's see it's about number 14 right now okay number 14 I'm gonna be writing down here so 14 is good <coughs> grinder setting here so I'm going to pull <coughs> another shot tomorrow morning okay so you are uh, using the same coffee beans I'm gonna dial then uh, properly and then I'm gonna pull the standard shot and see we are going to taste like the flow control shot but because this is quite tasty because I can taste the cantaloupe surprisingly cantaloupe and also definitely cinnamon as well is yeah it is it's pretty good okay so definitely huge difference in the flavor profile again if you guys like espresso, if you guys are, if you don't care about this, you know, if you don't care about the like, you know, nuance of different espresso, it's not may it's not may not for you guys. That comes to flow control, just standard shot is just fine. But if you guys like to play with different flow rates, man, <clears throat> open up the huge. Okay, open up kind of like can of worm here. Because it's no longer the recipes, uh, no, it's no longer the extraction times anymore. Because a standard shot of between what, <clears throat> 25 and 30 seconds. Now, it could be go down to make minute long. Okay, <clears throat> 60 seconds. You know, so it's all depend. <clears throat> Excuse me, goodness, I got something in my throat here. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, by the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome, okay? Make sure to join the chat. Uh, join, uh, join the live chat and uh, just, you know, introduce yourself or hang out, just have a conversation. We have a great group of a community here. Uh, I see Flavio's on this morning. I haven't, seen him a lot, uh, I haven't seen him in a while, so yeah, welcome Flavio. Uh, yeah, 
So you, you just just join the chat, have some fun. Uh, what else? Just make sure press like on the video. Uh, I think it's not everybody likes uh, my channel, but hey, it's okay. And they just have some fun with it. So hopefully, end of this week, I'm going to determine uh, which machine is for, you know, for me. Okay, let's put it that way. Because we have two great machines here. We have the Quick Meal here. Also, we have the Bianca. So this Saturday, let's do a side-by-side -side test. Okay. So let's find out. By the way, so this uh, Bianca is not a 9-bar. It's not set in 9-bar machine because it's more like uh, set at more like 10. Okay, it's more like set at 10 bar. Okay, so, you know, let me show you why it's set at 10 because I think Flavio, you say, uh, so comes to, uh, comes to control, uh, controlling the pressure is really easy to do. So at uh, some point I'm playing uh, adjusting to nine bar. I don't know. I mean, the fact is the little let, you know, let me show you first, okay? So, so I have a blind basket. So let's switch out okay, to blind basket here. Okay, here we go, guys. Okay, I'm gonna So this is more like 10, 11 bar pressure, okay? More like 11 bar. Okay, so this is more like 11 bar machine uh, from the factory. But I don't know why they said 11, I'm not quite sure. If you guys know the answers, let me know in the comment section, okay? Love to, love to, uh, uh, I mean, I mean, love to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Show us the Lillet uh, baskets. Lillet baskets. Oh, hold on. So this is the, actually, I'm using the IMS filter baskets. Okay. This is I, I, uh, IMS. Uh, this is, uh, I believe, 19 gram baskets here. I think it's 19 or 18. The Lillet basket is right here. Okay, so they are using the actually uh, little use the IMS basket as well. So hold on, so Hans. Let's see here. The Brian say have to set the pressure lower. Yeah, you know what, Brian? <clears throat> I mean, if you are spending this kind of money, okay. I mean, that should does that for you, you know, from the factory side. But you know what, I, I'm. I'm, I'm going to find out why they said at 10 bar. I mean, if you guys know the answers, let me know, okay? Let's see here. Uh, Hans mentioned about the boats. Okay, oh, uh, he wants the boat. Which machine I should keep it? Huh, that's not a bad idea, okay? So that's not a bad idea there. But again, I don't know why they said at 10, okay? As a pressure. Because uh, even like quick mirror, they said at uh, 9 as well. Uh, Rancho Servia, I think last time I checked nine. As you guys know, Brista Express set at 14 bar machine. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Uh, hold on a second. So this is. You know what, uh, uh, Ryan? I I need to I need to uh, j double check this. Okay. I need to double check this, but I think this is 18 gram. I'm pretty sure. I think this is 18 gram uh, IMS basket. So I'm gonna double check that. But I do have a 22 gram basket. So let's see here. Uh, Flavio say uh, he's a Bazaar uh, came with a 12 bar pressure. Again, even though it comes with a 10 bar machine, but the flow control actually you can uh, lower it to uh, nine or eight or seven, you know I mean? So you have a lot more control of the pressure. Yeah, so I mean, it's not a, is it big deal? I'm not sure, okay? But you know what, at least taste is great, okay? Uh, tastes fantastic, so. Uh, what else? Let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at your questions here, so. 
Uh, if so, I know some of you out there, am I going to stop using Brista Express? Answer is no, okay? So my plan is, uh, I think I'm going to like, kind of like separate out. Uh, one day I'm focused on the Bravo machines. And next, uh, kind of like some other times I'm going to focus on the just espresso, okay? My plan is maybe every afternoon, I'm, I'm using my machine here and then just uh, focus on the espresso only, okay? Which means we can play with different dosing amounts, maybe different type of coffee beans, water temperature, even flow control, uh, even different types of, of water as well. Because, you know, they have, you know, they have, uh, uh, third wave waters out there. I do have that uh, package here. So I, I'm trying to kind of like find out, you know, so let, let's find out, can we make the best espresso possible, okay? And also try out some different coffee beans. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I have a big plan for us, okay? Coming weeks and months. And also I'm working on uh, another coffee grinder as well. So not only we have DF64 and niche grinder, I'm trying to, yeah, um, I'm trying to get another uh, coffee grinder. Uh, just to mention, I did to put the Bianca, okay, flow control on the quick meal. Oh, Justin, man, can you imagine? Okay, all right, hold on a second here. We have, <clears throat> uh, you know what, the fact is, you know, uh, la let's talk about that this weekend, okay? I have a lot of thoughts on Bianca versus the uh, quick meal. Yeah. But, but here's the bottom line. They're both great machines, okay? But we are going to nitpick uh, this weekend. All right, we are going to nitpick it this weekend. Uh, let's see here, uh, Mich is it Michael? Okay, hold on. So after Bianca came out on the market, all of a sudden, is E61 machine could mod as well. Yep, even you know, even for the Mara X, man. You know that's great thing about the competition, because the E6 of it, Lillette Bianca actually Lillette the they up their game. Okay, not only so, Bianca came up with bottomless pore filter. No, not that came up. But they give you the bottomless pore filter, flow control, and also pressure gauge. Top of that in one, kind of like one unit. For this one here, quick meal, you have to add separately. You, go, you gotta add, uh, here, let me show you guys. You need to add flow control. They have a space for that as well. They have room for the uh, flow control there. And you, you gotta add, you have to buy the pressure gauge, okay? There's all E61 group. So Lille just pretty much gives you everything. So flow control, what well, retails for around two two fifty. Pressure gauge, you are looking at what seventy five to hundred bucks range. So, I mean, we are we are talking about close to what three hundred bucks. That I mean, uh, well, Ryan said pressure gauge is about thirty bucks. Okay, so thirty bucks plus, uh, I think. Uh, flow control is about two to two fifty, I think. So let, let's say 300 bucks, okay? Let's say $300. So that's a lot for the money. So this, uh, let's, yeah, let's compare this weekend. Uh, it, should be, it should be a lot of fun. 30 bucks is not bad, but thing is, uh, if you're doing buyer, uh, if you're, do, unless you are really handy, okay? You know what, just have professional do the, all the installation. Because sometimes if you do yourself, sometimes it make things worse. All right, so uh, by the way, so there is another, by the way, if you guys are into Espresso, there's a lot of tools. Not only you got the flow control and also you got the, it's called Smart Espresso Profiler. It's about $400. So yeah, so I mean, there, there's no ends, okay? So if, you're, if you guys are watching right now, if you have a Bravo Vista Express at home or Pro, they're just fine machine, okay? The behind me, just kind of like, so this is for, you know, I mean, hobbyist, okay? I mean, coffee is a hobby. Yes, it's definitely, you know, looking into, but 
if you want uh, just good coffee in the morning, you know what? Express or Pro should be just fine. Even Gaza Classic, even Rancheria Servia, I mean, they're all great machines, okay? So, it's a, all came down to is about, you know, cup of coffee in the morning, that's it, just one cup of coffee. Anyway, so I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday morning here. Again, if you are new to the channel, welcome, okay? Uh, we, go, we go live every single morning. I don't know how I would, how I, would, uh, I do it, but yeah, we just talk about coffee every morning, we just have some fun, and then just, just hang out for a few minutes. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna jump into Instagram right now, okay? If you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure to do so, okay? I'm gonna jump into Instagram. If you have any questions or comment, ask me there. And so, you know, if you want me to try a different recipe tomorrow morning, let me know that as well, okay? All right, see you guys, at, uh, see you guys on Instagram.